Good evening, council members. My name is Ann Herbert, and I am a resident of the 3rd District in Hammond. I've been a volunteer for the American Red Cross since 2005 and was first deployed to Biloxi, Mississippi to support the disaster relief following Hurricane Katrina. As everyone knows, the Red Cross is always there in times of need. This brings me to the flooding that happened in April in the Midwest, including the Chicago area and Hammond, where over where um, a record rainfall uh, flooded basements and rivers. The Red Cross volunteers from across the country arrived in Chicago to assist our chapter and regional offices to provide to those affected food, shelter, clothing, cleaning supplies, nursing and counseling, referrals to other organizations for assistance and other services. When I discovered my basement had flooded, when I discovered my basement had flooded, I had no idea 139 calls were being made to the mayor's office for flood assistance. I canvassed my neighborhood and found others had flooded basements too. I contacted the Red Cross asking for cleanup kits to replace the, repl the residents' uh, supplies already used to clean their basements the prior week. I was asked to assist with the kit distribution in Hammond, and although the flooding in the Chicago area was more devastating than in Hammond, the Red Cross offered to have cleanup kits delivered to Hammond via trailer shipments. On Friday, April the 26th, I contacted the mayor's office to ask if the Red Cross could receive permission to park a trailer at the Hammond Civic Center parking lot. When that wasn't, immediate, when that wasn't an immediate option, the regional Red Cross office in Chicago decided the cleanup kits would be delivered within Hammond via the Hammond EMA's administration vehicles and four Red Cross emergency response vehicles. Distribution of the kits took place on April the 29th and the 30th. On April 29th, approximately 10.30 a.m., Hammond 3rd District Councilman Anthony Higgs called the Chicago Regional Office to complain that the Red Cross was not doing anything for Hammond. No one has a clear understanding why Councilman Higgs was complaining because as he spoke, the kits were delivered or being delivered to Hammond. Up until the 29th, Councilman Higgs was directing individuals to the North Township for assistance. He spoke to two Red Cross volunteers. Both he cursed. Again, both he cursed. When I received the call from Chicago, I was shocked and embarrassed that he was not only disrespectful, but unprofessional. No one knows why he felt the need to curse individuals representing an international organization to get any point across. The Red Cross has been contacted with Councilman, to, uh, contacted Councilman Higgs' employer about this issue. This type of behavior is not acceptable from any elected official. This is not the first instance of Councilman Higgs cursing. Less than six months ago, he cursed the female owner of Nick and George's restaurant located on Holman Avenue in Hammond. I am truly and totally embarrassed to admit to the Red Cross that this is my representative in my district and the city of Hammond. I give thanks to the mayor's office, the Hammond EMAs, North Township, and the many residents of Hammond who showed their appreciation for the blessings received from the Red Cross and Herbert Third District Hammond. Thank you, Ms. Herbert. Next speaker will be Carlotta Blake King.